Greetings. You may have seen I did a video a week or so ago where I tore down my Manson EP850 power supply. And someone asked me about the inverter I was using as a dummy load. And they asked what the, um, what the output waveform was. Well, I've got it hooked up here. Here's my old power analyzer. And we've got it running on a pair of 100 watt bulbs. So let's see what the output is. Here we go. It's a pretty manky. It's nowhere near a sine wave. You can see it's just switching on, down to zero, switching off, and then back up. Now that's all well and good when trying to run simple loads such as these 100 watt bulbs. How about something a bit more demanding? Well, I also have this 150 watt metal halide lamp. I know with the magnetic ballast it wouldn't work unless I took the power factor correction cap out. And then it worked, but it's not really the best. So I've got this electronic ballast. The inverter seems to run the halide lamp quite happily as long as it's got a resistive load such as these light bulbs in there as well, which is a waste of time. If it's just the light, watch what happens. Gone. Let's shut it down. Well, there's a way around that because this particular tridonic electronic ballast can also run on DC. Here's what's inside the inverter. I haven't done a schematic this time, someone else has beaten me to it. So if you follow the link in my video description or the link coming up on screen now, that will take you straight to it. At the back of the board you can see there's provision for three capacitors, but only two are fitted. So what I've done is I've fitted this extra cable. And I've run the neutral to the minus connection and the live connection to the positive. So that's actually that's actually on the 300 volts DC supply. These inverters basically have two parts. There's a switch mode power supply which takes 12 volts in and outputs 300 volts DC. Then you have the inverter circuit which takes that high voltage DC supply and chops it up to provide a 50 hertz AC output. Obviously when working with these, these will be very, very dangerous when charged. So I made damn sure those connections were absolutely zero volts before I was messing with it. Something else to be aware of on this is that the neutral is connected directly to earth. I'll show you why that's important in a minute. Now this is monitoring the output from the inverter. What it's not doing is monitoring the input that. As you can see it'll run quite happily. The inverter is not complaining about it because the inverter isn't actually running it. Well the chopper circuit isn't at least. This is running on the high voltage DC supply that runs the inverter side. Something to watch out for on here As you can see we have 350 volts which drops down to it drops down to around about the 300 volt mark when it's on load when it's on a decent load anyway but this is monitoring the live output from the inverter the chopped live output relative to neutral if you look at the supply on the DC side now remember I said that the live sorry that the neutral and the earth are connected together. Well, if we take a look at that, you can see that these, relative to neutral, are actually half waves. 
although it's a DC supply as you see what it's doing relative to earth is it's chopping one side up then the other side up then the one side up then the other side up as the chopper is switching on one set of MOSFETs and the other set of MOSFETs so although the DC supply is perfect to use as a DC supply bear in mind that neither side is neutral they're both half wave live unless you disconnect the neutral to earth connection internally or unless you disable the chopper circuit entirely in which case you have no AC output just the DC a few things to consider one the item you're powering must be able to work on DC now just because it's an electronic load it may be able to work on DC but you may have surge protectors and things of like that which do not like a DC signal certainly not a 300 volt DC signal you might get transient suppressors which will try and chop the top off that and they won't like it at all they'll just explode so make sure like this one it's actually rated for DC use secondly these capacitors especially if you don't have a load will take a long time let's just disconnect that they will take a long time to discharge you can see there's 300 volts still in there that'll take quite a while to discharge and yes you have a linear load such as this light bulb which there you can dump all the load that went off slightly earlier then because I disturbed the cables so with that borne in mind I hope some of you find this enlightening I think it's interesting to see what the output of these cheap, well relatively cheap mains inverters are compared to the proper main supply which would be a nice smooth sine wave and also how to make a useful little addition to these supplies as long as the equipment supports it thank you for watching